You guys need to stick around to the end and you're gonna see what's in this bag and we're all gonna be shocked. Captain's Log, Tuesday, December 5th, 2023. Time, 12.42 p.m. We are at Goodwill and by we, I mean me by myself and you guys. And I'm just looking for high sell through, high value and uh, banger items to put in the store. I've got 16 listings up so far today, but I, uh, I need to, need to ramp it up. The good thing about having a flat tire is you can teach your young men how to change a flat tire. Man, that's, if that's a decent name brand, that could be okay. Um, sharper image. Uh, that's a little hit or miss. I really don't know, but it does include the speakers and the remote. So let's look it up. Mm, sharper image GM 400. Ooh, that, that's interesting looking. Oh, it's just an alarm clock. It kind of looked vintage with those big red buttons. So that's interesting. There's only three listings. One's brand new in the box. That's not this. There's one that's only this, only the head unit. That's not this, and it's 29 plus shipping. There's one that's just the speakers, and that's not this. Uh, and then there's one sold listing, and it is exactly this at 79, but the sell-through rate is kind of low, but nobody's really selling this. If it's cheap, I haven't looked at the price yet. If it's cheap, we'll see. Seven dollars, I think for sure. How much are their totes? Six, 284, five. It's really weird that they're totally random prices. I'm just thinking to get this. So I put this uh, 1996 animated Coke Bear in the cart, but I already comped it and it's not worth anything. So we're gonna put it back to make sure she's not, and she just obviously is not. Uh, a, an American Girl doll. Ooh, there's uh, Pablo and I don't remember the hippo's name. Those are rubber banded together, but they're not priced. I don't want them for $2 a piece. I don't think I probably want them for $2 together either. I'll leave them there. And evidently, I'm not the only one who thinks... Uh, Montgomery Moose is not worth picking up because he's still there a week later. This is pretty disappointing. I mean, maybe this guy could be worth something. But probably not. That looks like Wind in the Willows. That, that, that might be something. We may have ourselves some something. So that says Eden Toys, Arnold LaBelle, 1979. And if I, memory serves, my guy 6x6 six six, has found that same thing before and it was well worth his time to pick up. Okay, so I was hoping that this stuff was, uh, was Salad Master, but it's not. It appears to be, I mean, a lot of it's marked as Royal Prestige. And I've never heard of that before, but the sell-through rate is over 100% on the whole brand, and these are cheap. Okay, so I ended up with a big pile of this Royal Imperial, Royal whatever it is, Prestige. And then these Wilton pans. I'm not buying them all, not yet anyway. But they have a number on them, you can identify them, and they're all super cheap. So I'm going to comp them. Some of those can be really good, but most of them are not. So I'm going to comp these. They're four dollars a piece. Uh, they're definitely vintage. I haven't really looked them over very well. Made in China for holiday creations. Don't seem to be a date on them. So here's the reality. I would be eight dollars and eight cents plus sales tax into these. And while they're about a 25% sell-through rate, if I, I think I could get, they look like they're about $35 a piece plus shipping. So if I marked them for $60 together, like free shipping, that would be making a lot of money. 
and I bet they would sell pretty quick. Okay, so I'm thinking about sell-through rate, and a sell-through rate is important. It's a super important metric. Like, my thought is that, like, if you have a bunch of stuff that doesn't sell in your store, eBay doesn't have any incentive to give you traffic for the things that you're listing now. So I would tend to list on the bottom of the market so that you know that your items are going to sell faster, and then the the you get more traffic as eBay looks at your store and says the things that this guy lists sell. So we should send him traffic because things that he lists sells. But think about this. If you listed a bunch of $100 bills at $125, they would never sell. If you listed a bunch of $100 bills at $75, they would sell through really, really fast. And so you like thinking about the sell through rate of an item I think we don't talk about the sell-through rate at $50. What's the sell-through rate of this item at $75? Like those pans that I found are not, don't have a, wouldn't have a high sell-through rate at $100. You have all seen things get listed for, like that guy who lists, well, that Wind in the Willows plush gets listed for $125. And if you add $125 one to the sell-through rate, that one's never going to sell. And so the sell-through rate will never be all of them sold ever because that one will never sell at that price. So what's the sell-through rate of that thing at $25? We don't even know because nobody has one listed that low. And there are none sold other than one that was lotted with Mr. Frog and uh, they sold for $60. And so I'm going to say it's probably worth about 30 bucks, but nobody has one listed that low. The sell-through rate of an item that is priced too high is going to be lower than an item priced low, too low, or appropriately. Uh, and so I think it's time to start looking at the sell-through rate of an item at the price. At 50%, at $50, the sell-through rate on this item is significantly higher. That's just something that I've been thinking about a lot lately. And I know people are gonna say it's a race to the bottom that way, but a race to, but there it's, I think it's silly to look at something where like that Mr. Toad, everybody is north of $40 on a plush that I spent $2 on. So, and none have sold in the last 90 days. Can I bring a buyer to the market at $25? probably and then the sell-through rate will go up on everybody's but none of those are ever going to sell uh at that price according to the metric that we all use so we need to start thinking about sell-through rate on at a price that's that's the point for my message today let's go back to goodwill all the cake pans are junk all of them so we're not getting any of that five dollars and 14 cents Kate Spade, New York, Lennox. Who knew that Kate Spade made silverware? Kate Spade was a total bust, which was surprising. There was a couple of those sets listed at like 20 bucks, and so and that wasn't a very good sell through rate. I just brought that new card out, and these were on it for 404. Well, I was about to put these back, and then I opened them, and they're brand new inside, so, uh, that's a game changer. Now they're four dollars into probably forty-five free shipping, and they might even be a hundred percent sell-through rate. But with uh, eBay's wonky uh, shipping or search, recently it's a little hard to tell. It's a nice-looking pair of Marie box. I was just about to give up on the rack, and then I found this Pendleton at five ninety-nine that is sixty percent linen. And I don't know if that's great, but. It's not nothing. So this is a Breakdown, which was a fast fashion brand in the late 90s, $5.99. Made in uh, Korea, Republic of Korea. Again, I don't know, but it's probably something. So just pulled these off of the new cart. They just pulled out $6.24. They're probably $25 plus shipping. I couldn't find exact comps. Okay, so this uh, 
is $5.14. It's an Easton huge fancy roller bag. It's a little dirty. I don't know what it's worth, but it actually has two bats in it. I haven't checked them yet. You guys need to stick around to the end and you're gonna see what's in this bag and we're all gonna be shocked. I wanted to buy these at $5 a piece. They're marked Sunbeam and at $5.71. So this is a Harrington coat. It's the style. Um, 14 and 16 and it's a large tall. Ah, but it, I think the sell through rate's too low to pay that much for it. And this is some pretty sick vintage Woolrich tag, large women's made in the US. It's a cool jacket. But again, at $15, I just feel like it's probably not worth picking up. A couple of camcorders up right here. There's that one. And this one, we're gonna comp and then we're gonna get out of here because I gotta go get kids from school. Goodwill's dead, guys. Give it up. You shouldn't be trying to source from thrift stores because there's nothing to be had. Everything's overpriced, everybody. So just uh, forget going to thrift stores to buy stuff to make profit on eBay because Goodwill's dead. They overprice everything. Send everything to sell online. There's no way you're gonna buy anything good at Goodwill. Vintage plush or anything. Okay, I have not dug through these baseball bats. What's more is I won't even know if it's anything until I get it out. Boy, but it that doesn't look like nothing. Anderson DF2 K3 Diamond Flex. Let's hit it against something. I don't know. I don't know anything about that one. And then the other one. Louisville Ron Parnell. Message reads, Houston, please be advised. Rich Parnell is a steely-eyed missile man. Power eyes. This is pretty beat up. TPS reports 3430S. And I have not, as of yet, dug through any of the other pockets. There may be money in there. Who knows? <laughs> That's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, following, clicking the bell. If you're the guy who was just in Goodwill from uh, Springfield, Missouri and said hi. Thanks for saying hi. Hopefully you found the channel and things were, and you, and you thought it was cool. Thanks guys, we'll see you on the next one.